Hey, all viewers and viewers, my name is John Red Stratist. Welcome back to Grom Terror in Tibet. Now, this is episode 5, everybody. I'm actually going to make another attempt at recording some more of this. So, um, you remember, of course, in the last episode, we died. And, of course, because the save system in this game doesn't work, that meant that, unfortunately, if I... Well, basically, I've had to replay back to here from the beginning. Oh, boy. It's going to get nasty. If that, you know... Thing is, I, I mean, I kind of fucked up myself a bit there. I was kind of being a bit brainless. But the problem is, these Nazi soldiers are actually quite uh, tough. And that's the problem. So, um, like I say, I've replayed back to here. And if there's one thing I've learned about the game, just before I, you know, get started and start uh, getting on with the level, if there's one thing I've quickly realised about this game, it is buggy as hell. So let's just say, this is actually something like my third attempt at replaying back to here. First couple of tries, the game bugged out, mainly in the Upshi Town area. The Upshi Town area seems to be a bit, I don't know, it's a bit weird. Because like, there was just occasions where I was going through some of the dialogue and then the game would get stuck on certain things. There was another occasion where it crashed. And then the, there was also another occasion, actually, when the game crashed um, in the checkpoint area. You know, the boxing fight you can get into with the uh, English soldiers? Apparently, if you have the inventory open, the knapsack, when you go into a boxing fight there, it can actually crash the game, apparently. <laughs> Bit of a problem. Now, I'm not feeling particularly equipped for this because, um, I mean, I've got a load of weapons. You can see I've got my Mauser. I've also got Peter's sword. I gave that to Grom. Because, I don't know, the sword is quite good against the Yetis, I feel. At least that's how I felt about it. So I've got that. I've got a Mauser with lots of ammunition. Only issue is my rifle doesn't have any ammunition for it because in the fight um, with, against those Yetis with Hans Dietrich, I kind of ended up using up all of Grom's rifle ammo, which was not particularly good. So, something tells me we're going to have to try and stealth our way through this. Okay. Oh boy. This is why it's just... I don't know. I'm just wondering if instead of um, going along the walkway there, is it possible to actually crawl along the bottom? Having said that, there's rocks down there which could be in the way. Which is going to be a... well, an issue, basically. Unless we can uh, use up some grenades, maybe. So I've got four of them. God, I am just concerned, though. Hmm... How far can I throw these? Not far enough, it seems. Okay. That's not going to work. Okay. Okay, Grom, just go down there. Obviously, just be careful not to double-click, because I don't want to run, because they will see me. So, obviously, the way um, this game works is... Sometimes, if your characters get shot down, they don't necessarily die. They just fall unconscious. In which case, you can then just wait for them to sort of recharge a load of energy. But then I imagine... If they get shot up to pieces again, they actually die. And that's what happened to me last episode. I want to see if I can at least get through this level, right? You know, see if I can find this case that Major Olivier wants. But, um... It is concerning, of course, because, obviously... The problem with this game is... If I keep dying, I'm going to have to keep replaying back to where I was. Hence what I was saying in the last episode about, you know don't hold out for additional episodes <laughs> after this one. Because, of course, since there's no save system, that means I have to fucking replay back to where I was. And then, you know, start the recording again. Now, he seems to stay up there for a while. That, mm, actually, I haven't said that. No, he doesn't. Maybe if we go sort of over here. Problem is, I can't get too close to that edge, because when he comes around that corner, he's going to fucking see me. That's the issue. The problem is because there's so many fucking Nazis around this fucking place. It's a bit of a nightmare. Okay, now he's going over there and there's someone off actually over there. Bloody hell. God, this guy. This guy over here fucking moves very quick. I don't like it. Could just use my Mauser, but... The problem is if all the other Nazis appear, it's going to be a problem. Which is an issue. Okay, maybe I'll go sort of up round here. Oh no. You just move over there, that's it, bud. Oh no, don't. Oh god. I just hit him full of Mauser ammo. Right, get out of here. Go, go on, Grom. Get out. Okay, stay lying down. Oh god damn it, you're gonna come in this direction, are you? 
Okay. Weirdly, the rest of them are not particularly alerted by that, which was kind of curious. Oh God, is he going to come down here? He is. Okay, wait for him. Oh, oh. If only could... Good. Come. Oh, oh. Okay, we just took out one of the enemy. Uh-oh. Buck, get out. Buck. No. No. Oh God, this is bad. Oh! Okay, we're unconscious. Okay, as long as they fucking move, as long as this guy don't get fucking stuck in one place, fuck me. Oh god, don't stand there, please. Please don't just stand there. It's kind of hard to stealth this, because the stealth mechanics are not brilliant. Fucking hell. Right. Okay, he's... Maybe he could move. That would be very, very helpful, you know. If this guy could move, in fact, as well, that would be fantastic. God. Maybe I just need to get my sword out and just friggin' pummel them to oblivion. And then just run for it and get into a tent or something, I don't know. Okay. Problem is, this is going to be very dangerous. Bollocks! No! No! Oh, fucking hell. Ugh. This level is fucking impossible to do without rifle ammo, isn't it? You need rifle ammo for this. Oh, maybe I should just be using my grenades, I don't know. Mm. Okay, and I'm back now. I'm going to have to just fill you in with a bit of uh, details on what's going on here. So, um, basically, I've got a bit of an update, uh, something that's a bit more promising. Now, apologies if the resolution of the video has suddenly just taken an absolute shit and there's massive black bars down the sides. Basically, let me um, explain why this is. So, after I just died a moment ago, I tried replaying back to where I was, I ran into a load of bugs again, the game was crashing, it was just going all crazy, and I, for a second, was kind of despairing, and I was thought, okay, I don't think this game is going to work. Let's be honest, I think this could be it for Grom. However, then I suddenly had a brainwave, and I thought to myself, hang on a minute, I still have my old PC, my old tower system from my computer that I had before, my current build, what if I try hooking that up, reconnecting that thing, installing Grom on there, and trying it on there? And would you add and believe it, the fucking save system now functions as intended. So it may be that all the bugs were the fact that, well, were down to the fact that I was playing an old game on a high-end, more modern system. So it could be that in order to play Grom all the way through, perhaps what we have to do is play it on my old PC. So, the series is not over, ladies and gents. I mean, it's going to be a bit awkward, because basically what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to record all the episodes on my old PC, which is going to require me to keep this hooked up. But then, probably what I'm going to have to do is take all that footage, compile it down into episodes or whatever, and then try and transfer that across onto my new PC so that then I can upload it onto the channel. So it's going to be a bit fucking awkward, ladies and gents. But, if it means that we can play this game and actually see where it goes, then maybe that's just what we have to do. I mean, it doesn't take too long to reconnect my old PC and all that. So yes, I may have found a workaround, everybody. Now, question is, um, we need to deal with these Nazis now. Because obviously I've replayed this from the beginning, a few changes. Uh, I've got some grenades, I don't have any knives, I traded them away because I don't think I really use them all that much. Uh, cut barrel gun. I've discovered that this thing is not actually too bad against the Yetis, so it's worth investing in that. I've got rifle ammo, I've got a little bit of Mauser ammo, and like I say, I've got my grenades as well. So, what I'm probably going to try and do is throw a nade off and try and take that guy out. Right. right, one down. Okay, oh god. Oof, this is bad. Okay, that guy can just stand there if he wants. Oh god, come on. Oh no! Oof, okay, right. They've knocked me unconscious. 
Oh, fuck. Oh, but please don't just fucking stand there like a bunch of melon heads. Otherwise, this is going to be problematic. That is actually what they're going to do, isn't it? Okay, right. Okay, so the Nazi AI seems to be that wherever you die, they will just stand there. So maybe we need to be far more tactical about this. Now, the problem is... As soon as I get Grom up and running... Oh no, wait, wait. If we can get him up here, we might be alright. That could work. Get him out of the line of sight of the enemies and then heal him up. Okay. Use medkit. Very quick. Okay, that's done a little bit. We'll eat up some uh, food as well. Like this. God, you have to use a lot of it though, don't you? Right. Now, ideally, if I could throw a grenade down towards these guys, maybe preferably towards the guy down there who is actually already injured. Oh god. That guy is looking in my direction, which is not ideal. How close can you get to them before they sort of freak out and try and uh, get you? That's the question. Hmm. Not ideal, is it? Oh god, he's in me! Go ahead, get him! Come on. The guy next to him just seems to be fucking oblivious. Okay, we might have them, actually. Oh, another one down. Oh, he was about to fucking throw a grenade. Oh my god, I actually took him out. Oof. Okay, so, obviously because it's an old game, their AI is a little bit dumb, but that's going to work in our favour, I do think. Okay, we're definitely having a save here. I'm just checking that that worked. Yeah, game 10. Oh, thank God that the save now fucking works. Because the thing is, you know, all the usual bugs, we can handle those. If the game crashes, it doesn't matter. Alright? Well, actually it does, because... Um, originally, I was actually recording Grom in screen record mode on Bandicam. But actually, um, on my old PC now, that actually comes out really choppy if I do that. So I'm actually using the game record function. So, hopefully, as long as the game doesn't crash and end up corrupting a load of our footage, we will be alright. In fact, you know what probably is worth me doing? Probably worth me doing little jump cuts every so often, just to make sure that the... Uh, game, you know, in case the game crashes that my footage doesn't end up corrupting so I'll just do that one, just do one of those very quick, so just a moment everyone and we're back in, okay right, so now let's move on and try and take out some more of these foes, so let's go down around the back here Whoop. just try not to make too much noise though oh man, I'm so glad though that I have actually found what appears to be a workaround for this whole issue it just makes things so much better, hopefully. I wonder if I can get a grenade at this guy. I think I can. <laughs> that guy's like, what the fuck just happened? I'm surprised none of the other Nazis really hear that. Like, this guy over here just doesn't give a shit. He's like, okay, sure, <laughs> whatever. Okay, let's um, get all our guns out. That's what i got to do. I've got to try using grenades a bit more often, I think, against these Nazis. As you can see, though, I've got quite a bit of rifle ammo, which is the good news. Now, let's have another save, since we've just taken out another enemy. Because there's the thing, right? Oh, he's up there. Okay, that's no good for us. Now, the problem is, we've got the guy over there, but we've got two guys up there. Oh, there's another guy up there. We sort of crouched down on the ground. That's not ideal, is it? Hang on, if we get Grom over here, like this. Where's the guy over here? Oh, he's there. He seems to be doing kind of a patrol around all these tents. Okay, okay, sure. Let's let him do his thing. He's freaking out a little bit though, isn't he? Right. Oh. God. Usually if you get their health down, they eventually start to flee, like that. Right. Hold on, he's hanging out over there. He's being an asshole. Can I shoot him? I can, okay. Go on, go on. Yes, you are bleeding. Oh god, I missed. Fucking just get over here, you bastard. 
Oof. Oh, stay where you are, seriously. <laughs> Fucking hell. Yes, you are hurt. Now get the fuck out. Christ almighty, these Nazis are being absolute assholes. They are tricksy devils, aren't they? Okay, hold on. Is he going into the centre? Might be able to get him if he goes into the centre here. No, don't. Urgh. Bad time to, um... Start messing around with your gun there, Grom. Please, come on now. Just be fucking reasonable. Come on, stay down. God damn it, why does he keep doing the thing with his fucking gun? Where he's like, he's unjamming it or some shit. Fucking hell. Could just fucking... Ugh. Right, get him with a fucking grenade, seriously. There we are. Christ almighty. They are absolute fucking nightmares, these guys. Let's explore some of these tents, then. I think we can stand up safely around here. We can go into them. Ooh. Is there anything in here? Well, nothing that's... F oh, no, 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 no. Oh, there was something there. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold your horses. Something was... An MP40! Oh, fuck. Oh, I do not have space for that. Oh, no. Um... Shit. Oh, that's probably a really good fucking weapon, isn't it? Crap. Um, I need to... I, right, what I do need to do is use up some fucking health. Uh, try using up the small med kits, maybe? Okay, hold on. Use them up. I do also have some um, stones of health, which um, might prove uh, pretty useful as the game progresses. Shit, I'm not going to have enough fucking room, am I, for this? Okay, how are we doing health-wise? Um, yeah... Maybe we come back for it. Assuming that... Okay, right, there's an MP40 there. That's got to be, like, a really good weapon, though, hasn't it? Alright, what's in here? Hands! What are you doing here? Finally, I thought that nobody would help me. Who can I see here? Mr. Liar himself. The right man at the right place. I'm really sorry, but I had to do it. I vowed not to expose anybody to death. How touching. Stay in this tent. See you. Maybe we'll meet each other sometime in the future. Wait a moment. The case is gone. What case? Are you mad? You don't have to pretend. You came here for the same thing as me. A very old case with very old documents. You're getting more and more dangerous. You know too much for an ordinary wanderer. I also know where the case is now. Tell me. Quietly. First you must set me free, and then I tell you everything. How can I trust you? I should leave you here. I can find the case myself, anyway. There are too many soldiers here to cruise alone around the strangers' area. Fair point. Okay, I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting him to be here. But, if it means I get a companion again, that could be good. Because you could hold on to the MP40. What can you know about the troops? Oh, bollocks. Right. You won't do anything on your own. Don't be so clever. Just take care of yourself. I'm not happy to have to take you with me. Okay. All right. Case is in the last tent. Hmm. Right. Well, at least we got hands with us now. We've got another companion again. Right. So he's a strange fellow. Let's give him that. Okay, hands. if you go in here, you can get the MP40. We'll give that to you. In fact, let's have a look at your um, notes. Hans is a German anti-fascist. He's said to have wandered to Tibet looking for... Nothing. There's no uh, things there. He only has two bargaining skills. Uh, MP40, he's actually not bad with, apparently. Um, he's also not too bad with the rifle. Hmm, cut barrel gun, apparently, he's really good with. Okay. So maybe the, yeah, maybe the old um, MP40 is the right thing for him. But then again, he's only got um, 30 ammo in it. So it might be something we have to uh, conserve a little bit. There wasn't anything else in your tent, was there? Or in this tent, rather. Hmm. Just bunks. I mean, there's nothing kind of flashing at us, so no. Looks like there's nothing in there. Can we go in the other ones? Like this one here? This long one? Ah, there's definitely something in there. Is that canned food? Yeah, hands you take that. And then eat it pretty much straight away, because you need it. Uh, there we go. What do you want? 182 out of 200? Okay. Let's get out of here. Right, and last tent over here. 
Okay, so we're actually making progress again, everybody, which is pretty good. Uh, Grom, that's two medkits there. You can pick up one of them. Hans can take the other one, I think, because he's got plenty of space in his inventory. All right, um, I mean, I've got so much stuff in there, which is, you know, in my inventory as it is at the moment. Maybe I need to buy more grenades again at some point. I feel like grenades are proving themselves to be very fucking useful against these bloody Nazi soldiers and whatever else have you. All right, let's lie down a sec. Let's have, have another save, like this. And another very quick jump cut as well, just to, you know, check that the footage isn't going crazy. And we're back. Okay, right. So, we have three more guys. The case, he said, is in the last tent, so I'm guessing this one up here. Question is, how are we going to get to it? Maybe if we loop around this side. Uh, hands? What are you doing over there? Come over here, please. Uh, come on. So you go around here, like this. Try and get the drop on these Nazis up here. Right. Um, the only thing about this game is you can't rotate the camera. So, the view that you see on the screen for you, that's the only view you can approach a situation from. Because, you know, in the Commandos games, well, maybe not the first Commandos, but certainly the later ones, you could always rotate the camera so you could look at the environment from different angles. But this one, you don't seem to be able to. Hans, I really want to try out this MP40, lad. Where are you going? Okay, over there. How is the range on this motherfucker? Oh. Okay, they heard something then. <laughs> yeah. Apparently he can't see me from that range. Get a bit closer. Oh, oh. Okay, one down. Hands, get out of there. Uh, come on. No, not time. What's that the guy doing sneaking about? Okay, another one down. Only one other Nazi who's up there. Okay, that MP40 was quite powerful. It took out one of those dudes in one shot, pretty much. Well, in one volley, rather. Oh, careful. Right, Grom, go and pick up the ammo over here for your old rifle. At least the enemies drop stuff. That's the good thing. Because I've, um, you know... At various times in this playthrough, I've had moments where I was kind of trying to find stuff. Or rather, you know, I was I was fighting my way through and I was just losing gammo and whatever else have you. Right, hands. Oh, what the hell are you doing? Okay. Okay, actually, just let Grom do it. There we go. <laughs> Didn't really need to do anything with hands there. Okay, that should be all the enemies, right? There's no ammo that that guy's dropped. Is there anything else over here? In this big sort of platform area? Is this like a Zeppelin landing area by any chance? It's got like big fuel tanks and a platform, floodlights. Can they go up there? Oh, they can. I see. Don't know why they'd want to though. Okay, sure. Right, so this should be where the um, last thingy bobber is. Uh, where this case is, even. Alright, hands, if you could. Uh, how are you doing for health? 139 out of 200. Yeah, use up your health pack. There you go. We will need to um, get hands another proper weapon. You know, since he's good with the cut barrel shotgun, we'll give him the shotgun stuff. I don't see why not. Okay, um, Grom. How are you doing health-wise? You need uh, you need some, don't you? Okay, use up some of your can rations. How are we doing there? 245 out of 250, that's fine. Right, so there should be something in this final tent, right? Aha! That looks like Skatool. That like, looks like probably what we came here for. Let's have another quick save. Okay, Grom probably is going to need to pick this up and keep it in his inventory. Okay, only takes four. There we go. Well, we got it. So that's what we came for, right? Hmm. What do you reckon there's going to be an ambush waiting for us when we come out? Let's just see. Okay, let's go. Are we alright? No, I don't see any enemies around. I think we're alright. Alright, well we've got an objective. We need to go to Olivier. So we have to return to Upshi. Well, at least we've got hands here with us. Hands, come on. Don't be like that, seriously. Right. I wonder what the maximum size party of characters you can get in this game actually is. I mean, I've seen screenshots, for example, on the back of the box and things like that, just looking at it now, where, you know, you have, like, four characters at once, 
as well as various others, so... Hmm, interesting. Well, let's exit to the map, then, I guess. Okay, right. We've got what we came for. We're making progress, everybody. Um, mountain camp, I don't think we need to go back there, do we? Do we need to head back to the high mountain crossroads? You see, there's all this on this side of the map as well that I imagine he's yet to explore. Do we need to go back through the friggin' hanging bridge? Or can we just sort of bypass that entirely? Let's see. No. Oh, bloody hell, these guys are here again. Okay, so they weren't lying when they said they can be resurrected. That's a bit of an issue, isn't it? Hands, if you get your fucking MP40 out, because we're possibly going to need this. Right, you know what, Hands, you go first. Somebody's coming, can't you hear them? I wonder who it is. I mean, this is similar dialogue to the first time we came through here. We can die many times, each time we return to life, yes. <laughs> that seems to be the thing. Well, they're not lying. Apparently they do seem to uh, resurrect. Pay for crossing the bridge. I mean, uh, do we want to pay? I'm feeling a bit bolder since there's two of us now. I feel like that'll be better, or f better for us. Won't reply and see what happens. He doesn't answer, stay aware. Get closer. They have got gold there, lying around. They won't give me conditions. How close can you get to them? Can I get their gold? Oh, fuck. Alright, no, it's alright, it's still there. Okay, he just got instantly fucking taken out. Oh god, lead him over here. Nope. Right, just... Okay, Grom got knocked out as well. Jesus. These guys are tough, because they have blunderbusses. So, of course, in these close quarters on the bridge, it's really hard to actually take them out. However, Hans is going to be resurrecting soon. <laughs> Hopefully, we can get him with the MP40. Hit them up a little bit. Right, one down. Okay. Oh, God. Got him. Alright, but we're out of MP40 ammo. Shit. Okay. Oof. Right, hands. Stand up. Uh, Grom, are you yet be ready to come back again? Oh boy. Right, use up some health. Here we go. I don't really see any point to using grenades against those guys unless absolutely necessary. Because they kind of do move pretty quickly, but, yeah. Right, how are we doing health-wise? One more of these. Um, Hans, do you... Do you want maybe the, um remaining camp food and use up some health packs. Okay, here you go. Right. Okay, that um, replenishes quite a bit. And then if you use up that thing there, there we go. Good. Excellent. I've got to remember, I've got healing stones as well that I could be using. Right, let's pick up their gold that they um, have lying around. Oh, look at how much they've got. Probably been murdering quite a few people, haven't they? Uh, oh, something there. Ammo for blunderbuss. Oh, this might be when I came through first time, when I was replaying, or possibly trying to replay. Actually, no, because that doesn't make sense, does it? Because I reinstalled on this PC, never mind. <laughs> well, extra stuff there, we can always sell that, or give it to Peter if we meet up with him again. Right, let's see now. Oh, that, that figurine there, is that... Oh, what's this? Stop hands. What happened? You see that statue? What statue? That's just it. When I was going that way, a butter statue was standing here. Do you know anything about Tibetan customs? I heard that these statues are to stop evil, to warn against danger. But when did you come here? A few days ago. It could have dissolved because it was old and nobody put up a new one. Now I start to more and more believe in these old Tibetan stories. You think that we're in danger? You were right. Nazis will surely want to regain the case. Yes, you are right. It can be this. But that's nothing new. They could set an ambush somewhere on the road. I didn't think about it, but who knows. But where? They couldn't go faster than us, and soon we'll get to the border guarded by the British. Don't forget about Zeppelins, they could be faster because they can fly. You may be right, have you got any ideas? Now let's go and meet Peter. Actually, near the border it could be hard for them to surprise us. Maybe there's something wrong on the border itself, I'll think about it on the way. Alright, so... Is it telling us we need to go and meet Peter again? Oh boy. Okay. I just clicked that figure figurine by chance. Because I remember... Oh, here he is! See, look, he's waiting for us. Aha! Well, we've got a party of three now, I'm guessing, unless Towns is suddenly going to disappear or something. Grom, at last, you were you were to wait for me here. 
Things got a bit complicated. Hmm, I can see that now. Who is this? This is Hans. I can see you're very talkative. Welcome, Hans. Uh, Grom, let's talk for a while. Who's this man, and what's going on? You didn't have to go as far. I started to think that you decided to end up end up our part. I probably should say end our partnership. <laughs> Pity you didn't think what could have happened to me. To you? You're joking. Never mind. Do you remember that Zeppelin? Do you remember what I said, that the past had found us? Grom, forget about it. We're in Tibet. We're to do business here. You were not to think about the past. This place is safe no more, and we can't pretend any longer that we don't care about anything except business. Germans are here. That Zeppelin was not a hallucination. I'm late because I had to flee those Nazi bastards. What about that Hans guy? He's German, isn't he? He isn't dangerous. I even think he can help us. Help us, Grom? How can he help us? You'll see. Now we have to get to Upshe. I have to talk to Olivier. This bastard must have known about everything from the very beginning. Damn it, all our plans will fail. Well, let's go to Upshe then. Grom, you, could, uh, you should regret that you didn't come with me. After all this revolution in China, you can do lucrative business there. I've got a whole cargo of China. There is plenty of it there. Besides, I'll tell you one more thing. The Chinese don't know how to treat women at all. <laughs> and these women desire Europeans like hell. Wow, Peter. Good to see you've been uh, sampling local cuisine over there, so to speak. Deary me. Oh, what's going on? Oh, first thing I thought something weird was happening then. Wait a moment, Peter. Not so fast. We can suspect that not everything is right at the border. I don't want to risk. Don't be stupid. What can be wrong there? As usual, we give a bribe and walk through. Peter, I'm responsible for our safety. If I say that something worries me, then trust me. Yeah, you're right. So what shall we do? The worst thing is, we don't know what to expect. Anyway, everything can be all right there, but it's better to be cautious, particularly if Germans are around here. We can do it like this. You walk to the border with hands as usual, and I'll try to walk through the mountains and get there from the other side. I'll take the case for Olivier. If there are any problems because of it, they won't concern you. If there is a need, I'll help you. Or something else. I'll cross the border with hands and you, Peter, will take the case and cross the mountains. Wait, wait. What What case? Again, I don't know about anything. It should probably say that. Don't get your panties in a what? That's a very modern uh, turn of phrase, Colonel Grom. Wow. That's something for Olivier. I guess you don't want anything to happen to our $2,000. You said R. You are right. We cannot let anything to this case. I knew I could persuade you. So what shall we do? Wait, I must think. All right. First idea is usually the best one. I'll cross the mountains. You take the usual way. Okay. So it would appear that basically we're splitting up again. Is that what's going on? Oh, wow. You've got 12 gold there. And you've got a little bit of ammo. Hold on. Uh, Grom has a bit of blunderbuss ammo that we can give to Peter. There we are. You can take that. I mean, you don't have much, though, do you, Peter? I could have sworn you did have a sword, but apparently not now. Okay. And Hans, meanwhile, only has a freaking cut barrel gun with two freaking shells located in it. Located in it? Two, two shells for it, that is. Okay, let's save there. We'll tell you what we're going to do, ladies and gents. We're going to wrap this episode up here. So, episode five of Grom Terror in Tibet. The series is not over, ladies and gents. We've found a workaround, something that will help us, hopefully, play through this whole game. It's going to be a bit awkward, because, like I say, I'm going to have to transfer files back and forth between my new and old PCs. But I think it'll be worth it. So, even though this game is, at times, a bit buggy and a bit weird... You know what? As long as the save system works, I think we'll be okay. We'll be able to play it. So, hope you'll join me for more then, because I'm going to be doing more at this rate. Um, if you're not doing so already, you can find me on Facebook and Twitter. Links down below, along with a link to my propagandist channel, as always. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz. But in the meantime, this is General Red signing off. Goodbye, everybody. If anything. <laughs> That's new. That's fucking new. I looked back. I should not have looked back. Oh, that scared the shit out of me. Yeah. I'm just gonna do it again. Nope. Nope, it's not gonna do it. Okay. Okay. So there is something in this game. It's not just showing a concept off. Oh god. Oh god, my heart is pounding after that. Seen. Oh no, that's the Chinese lantern that we saw last time. Okay, so yeah. Oh boy. <laughs>